Thanks. We better give some water to those plants today. A record high temperature today of 95 degrees in Richmond. That breaks the old record set on numerous dates, but the most recent one was 1991 of 94. So today goes in the record books. No rainfall yet for today. There's still a chance, but the showers that we're going to get for the remainder of today will be few and far between. 93 is our current temperature. It feels just a touch warmer with the humidity. A south southwest breeze at 13 miles per hour and other temperatures across Virginia are mostly in the upper 80s and low 90s in areas that have not been affected by thunderstorms. There have been a few out there, mainly to our west and northwest. Tree and grass pollen are both in the moderate category this afternoon. And there's your severe thunderstorm watch. All counties here in yellow until 10 o'clock tonight. The primary threat is going to be damaging winds, and there could be a little bit of large hail as well. This includes all of the northern neck and one county in the middle peninsula. That's Essex County and then back over into Caroline County as well as Louisa back in Albemarle County and Nelson and all points up to the north. Just a few sprinkles here across central Virginia. Now these were some thunderstorms, but they fell apart very quickly as they moved into the Richmond area and a couple storms continue to develop in the higher terrain and way up across northern Virginia and there's still a chance we'll have some redevelopment a little bit later on, but I don't expect a whole lot for the rest of tonight. Back to our west. This is the main show. This is a PDS tornado watch. That's a particularly dangerous situation. They issue that when it looks like you're going to have intense tornadoes, maybe EF threes or EF fours, and that's the setup for them out there. They've already had four inch diameter hail and one storm actually produced three tornadoes all at the same time. Picture of that going wild on Twitter right now. All right, low temperatures for tonight, mid to upper 60s and highs tomorrow. Upper 80s and low 90s will have a northwest wind tomorrow. The little feature that's brought us the chance for some thunder thunderstorms is going to give us a little bit of a wind direction change for tomorrow and going to take a little bit of the edge off the heat, but still a hot day on tap. A low end chance for a shower storm late in the afternoon, but most areas will remain dry. All right, to overnight tonight, not much going on. As we get into tomorrow, one or two pop up showers possible. Then on Friday, the setup will be there again. As another upper system, the one that's affecting the central plains right now will get closer to us, and that'll bring us a better chance for storms to develop in the afternoon. This is a snapshot of five o'clock, and you can see numerous thunderstorms, and some of those will likely be on the strong to severe side. There's the risk of severe weather on Friday. It's a marginal risk of damaging winds and large hail. All right, look what happens this weekend. Just 75 on Saturday, 64 on Sunday, and 74 on Memorial Day. So unfortunately, it looks just like it's going to be pretty chilly through the holiday weekend and some rain around as well, especially in the front end Friday into Saturday with drier conditions setting up for Sunday and on Memorial Day. Here's a look at your seven day forecast and again, a couple back to back days here of 90 degree weather and then it gets much cooler. The best rain chances through about Saturday after that a good bit drier Sunday and Monday.